Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Mom Life with Hope. And in this video, we're making green chicken enchiladas with Mexican rice. And these two recipes are actually made from scratch. Absolutely made from scratch, nothing from the can. So if you guys do decide to try out this recipe, please tag me on Instagram. I'll put my information right there. And tag me on Instagram and let me know how it came out, how you like it. It did take a little bit longer to make because of more authentic uh, flavor recipe, you know, with all the ingredients being fresh. Um, tag me. I want to see how you guys liked it. So also anything um, else you guys want to see me cook or do, please leave down in the comments. But all the ingredients and the recipe, full recipe will be in the description down below. So enjoy and here it is. So you'll need about eight chicken legs with the skin on. I steamed mine on medium low for about 35 minutes. Then I began getting my 10 tomatillos, my three jalapenos, and about four garlic cloves and I placed them on a flat skillet or in this case I used something called a comal and it's just pretty much a flat skillet with foil and I let them sit there on medium heat until they got a little burned. And I started watching them and flipped them when I saw the one side was burned. Also I forgot to throw the garlic cloves on there so throw those on there as well and it'll give it a nice burnt taste. Here you can see the jalapeno is already starting to char on the sides and so are the tomatillos. After that you grab them all and throw them into a blender. After the chicken has cooled, go ahead and remove the skin and the meat from the bone and keep just the meat. In the blender that already has the tomatillos and the jalapenos, go ahead and add a handful of cilantro and diced onion. Blend for three to five minutes. If it's too chunky, go ahead and add a half a cup of water. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees. And this is my little enchilada station so I can easily grab the chicken and the cheese and roll it up into a little taco. Make sure that when it's in the baking dish that the edge of it is face down so it doesn't unroll. When the whole dish is covered with rolled enchiladas, go ahead and add the entire sauce on top of the enchiladas and add mozzarella cheese on top and then add the remaining sauce and bake for 45 minutes at 375 degrees. Meanwhile, we'll start on our Mexican rice. Go ahead and add your two tablespoons of oil and your minced garlic and your onion on medium heat. In the blender, go ahead and add your three cups of water or unsalted chicken stock, half a teaspoon of cumin, two tablespoons of the chicken nor, one teaspoon of pepper, and blend for a complete five minutes to really make sure that it liquefies. The rice will begin to change into a brown color when it becomes a little more golden brown that's when you know it's ready for the liquid go ahead and pour the entire liquid from the blender into the rice I usually like to grab a little bit of half a cup of water and 
swoosh it around to get the remaining uh, contents and puree out of the blender. Once you pour the liquid in, go ahead and turn the burner all the way to high until it boils and allow to boil for about four to five minutes. Then put it on low and cover and set your timer for 25 minutes. I almost forgot my little garnish of cilantro. I feel like it just gives it a little more flavor. When the timer goes off, I always kind of like to check in the middle of the rice to make sure it's completely done and I do this by kind of slightly lifting it and if there's no moisture or water at the very bottom of the pan I know it's done and by the time the rice is done the enchilada should also be done and ready to be served and here they are the green chicken enchiladas with Mexican rice you can top with more salsa or sour cream don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you guys again so much for watching